watching Monsters at Work and I'm thrilled to say I have been because I absolutely love Monsters Inc. which is a, it's a sequel to that film which was released 20 years ago this month by the way which is insane to me. I think Monsters Inc. is the best Pixar film and I will be taking no questions at this time. For anyone who loves that film even just a little bit, Monsters at Work is well worth the time. It's the first Pixar show that Disney Plus are doing. They've got another one about Buzz Lightyear that's coming out at some point in the future and if Monsters at Work is anything to go by these are just as good as the films. They're not skimping because it's a TV show. Pete Doctor, who directed Monsters Inc., is back for this one alongside a long-time Disney storyboard artist called Bob Scanaway, who is executive producer the whole thing as well. The whole thing is lovingly crafted, you know. The world of Monstropolis is revisited once again. I'm really thrilled that we get to see the fallout of the events at the end of Monsters Inc. Um, obviously, the world that uh, exists in Monstropolis um, is fueled by children's screams. But at the end of that film, they changed that so it's now fueled by children's laughter, which actually plunges a lot of the scaring superstars that we know from the first film instead of like an existential crisis, which is obviously really funny to watch. You're no longer hiring scarers? <laughs> scarers are out, jokesters are in. Is this a joke? If you're thinking that it's going to be the Sully and Mike show like Monsters Inc. is and Monsters University, which was a prequel released in 2013, you might be a tiny bit disappointed. They are in this show a lot, obviously voiced by the just ever reliable John Goodman and Billy Crystal and their scenes just sizzle like you'd expect but this is a chance for uh, a new generation to watch a new series of characters as well um, and there's some voiced by um, Henry Winkler you've got one voiced by Ben Feldman who you might know from Mad Men and one voiced by Mindy Kaling from The Office and yes you do get the return of the raspy voiced Roz Slug voiced by Bob Peterson as well as her uh, equally as raspy voiced sister Rose they just delivered the new kids had an ID so I feel like I already know the answer, um, but is it a binge or a binge? It's a total binge, and what an easy binge it is. Welcome to Monsters Incorporated.